happy to be here now this intro will be a bit long but please bear with me because it will be worth it i will be using this lash shampoo and this lash extension remover in a different video i'm super excited to use these and i will be using my typical dark lash extension glue by ardell I highly recommend to have a clean spoolie on hand to brush out your lashes and I will be using this pointed tweezers and I find that with this tweezers it gives you more control. And of course I also have this curved tweezers on the side just in case if I have trouble separating the lashes. I will list all of the products down below if you guys want to take a look and I just wanted to apologize I wasn't able to do that lash extension update for you guys from my previous video. Individual lashes that I will be using today are by IMI. It is a 0.20 in thickness, 18 millimeters in length, and a level C curl. Ever since I can remember, my lashes has always been naturally short and not very dark in the shade. Now I always go for the volume set to give me that darkness in my eyes, and then I always go for the baby doll style to really open up my eyes. Now I love to share this chart with you guys because it can really help you make your decision on how you want to do your lash extensions and I just also wanted to share that today I will not be using any pre-fanned lash extensions. I like to start in the center of my eye so I can determine where my center is and I'll go ahead and start applying the individual lashes underneath my real lashes using the pointed tweezers to help hold it in place. I will be mentioning some of the same steps that I will be taking as I mentioned in my previous lash extension video and the reason why I decided to not to use any pre-fan individual lashes is because of the, I find that only using individual lashes really gives you that wispy look. Now I really enjoy using the spoolie after applying the individual lashes because it really just pulls all of the individual lashes together and it just makes it look more neat. Now you can definitely use the curve tweezers and the pointed tweezers at the same time but I recommend that if you do take those steps, be extra careful. I also like to push up against the lash to help lift the lashes. I like to also take the spoolie to brush underneath and on top of the lashes to help straighten it out. And sometimes I like to put it on top of my lash and twist it so it helps straighten it out as well. I also like to take the pointed tweezers and run it through the lashes so I can help separate the lashes. Now as you guys can see, my eyes are not watery or red, so I definitely enjoy using this glue. And I definitely think this glue is great to use whenever you're just starting out applying lashes. So I definitely suggest using this if you have sensitive eyes. And because I really want to create that very mink look, I like to also apply the lashes on top of my natural lashes. Now as you can see, if you imagine your natural lash with the individual lash underneath your real lashes and on top, that would definitely give you um, a very Von effect. 
as you guys can see this definitely takes a lot of your time and patience but trust me it'll be worth it at the end I find that with these individual lashes, they were a lot easier to remove from the packaging which made me really happy because when you're doing your own lash extensions, you want to be as quick as possible. Now as you guys can see, I'm slowly starting to do the inner corner of my lashes. If you guys didn't know, I naturally have uneven eyelids, so it definitely is a challenge for me, but I definitely do enjoy doing my own lashes. If you guys like this video, definitely give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Alright guys, so this is how it looks like so far. I'll go ahead and finish up the other eye. I just wanted to give you guys a shout out for giving me almost 1,000 subscribers. That's so crazy. Thank you so much for believing me and I promise you that I will do my best to give back to you guys. If you guys want to connect, definitely check out my other social media accounts. I love you guys. Bye.